morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning to you. How y'all doing this morning? This morning should have been good. And it is good. However, I did, uh, uh oh, I'm to go right back into my mailbox. It took me a while to get myself together this morning, yeah. you guys. But guess what? I'm in the car on my way to the gym, and it went black again. <laughs> Oh, y'all, this is the day that the Lord has made. I hope every one of us will rejoice and be glad in it. Today is November the 4th, 2019. How about that, you guys? Already the 11th month. Already the 11th month in 2019, November the 4th. That's a blessing, y'all. We almost in 2020, guys. How about that? I remember back in the day when everybody was all uh, anxious and nervous about the year 2000 coming in where it was like everything was going to shut down, all the information on the computers was going to be lost because they hadn't made the software to that long, you know, that far to extend to 2000, but look at 2020 coming in, look at technology now, every three months y'all trying to get us with a new smartphone charging all that money for them smartphones like that. Y'all got my kids wanting to get all kind of smartphones, but it's all good. You know, I thank God that <clears throat> those things don't control his kids or his children. If we want them, if we need them, we got them because that's what he does for us. He gives us the desires of our heart. He supplies all of our needs. But when you get those things, like when we have these smartphones, when we have all of this technology, let's use it for the glory of the kingdom of God. Like what kind of apps you got when you get smartphones? I hope you got about more Bible apps or more, more apps that's going to build your spirit up instead of desires of your flesh and lust of your flesh. You know what I'm saying? That's wasting time. Like we don't have all kind of time to be wasting doing stuff on these phones that are not proactive, that are not productive, or they're not progressing you. So remember that you need to be proactive in your life. You need to be productive in your life. And things need to be progressing you. You need to be moving forward instead of staying in one place. God is a God of movement. Things happen when he is inside of you, when he lives in you. Things grow. You ain't got no choice but to be fruitful and multiply. You know what I'm saying? Because when the Holy Spirit lives within you, things happen, you know? Miracle signs and wonders follow the those who believe so i'm just you know let's make sure we're doing what we're supposed to be doing to glorify god's name to glorify his will for her our lives uh that word will is his intentions for our lives and his intentions and he says in his word that us uh, that we be in good health and prosper even as our soul prospers you know he said he has thoughts of us uh, thoughts of peace he thinks towards us thoughts of peace with an expected end. So that cancels out all of y'all who think that God is looking at you like you're not worthy or such and such, you know, all kind of negative things. God says his thoughts towards you are thoughts of peace and an expected end. He loves us that much. He says nothing can separate you from his love, you know. He loves you. He created you. You are his creation. You are his child, you know. So just know just know that you know i mean when you mess up the word of god called declares that we that would that we should repent and god forbid we remain in the sin that we live in we constantly have to change and progress to that level of perfection that level of perfection does not mean you being perfect guys it means a level of maturity that word perfect means maturity so uh straight up you know we good like we we got it going on when we under the umbrella of grace when we under our father's cover when when our holy when the holy spirit lives and dwells within us there's nothing no good thing he said what he withholds from us no good thing 
you know so i'm just excited to be in the kingdom i'm excited to be having access to the kingdom yeah i'm a child of the most high god the king of kings and the lord of lords have you ever seen the the, the king's kids forsaken you know what i'm saying if you a kingdom kid you need to be looking like a kingdom kid you know what I'm saying? When you mess up and fall short and things happen, get back up because you know who you are. You royalty. I'm sorry, y'all. My voice, <clears throat> this morning my throat is like kind of a little bit dry and scratched because I was going in at church yesterday when I tell you that word was from the doors of, from the throne of heaven. Oh, what? Man, my bishop, I thank God for my bishop, Bishop Stanley Senegal and at the Cross Christian Center Ministries. If you in Louisiana or Lafayette, I want you to come out and visit us. I mean, man, when I tell you we go on fire right now, there's a move of God happening in that place. You know, get connected. Let's connect the body of Christ. Let's come together and dwell together in unity. Let's bind these, this body together in cause of love that's not easily broken. I mean, God is trying to do something in his kingdom, in his body, you guys. It is a blessing to be in the kingdom of God in this day. It is a blessing to be in the kingdom of God in this day, you guys. Things is happening. I'm just so excited to be in the kingdom. I mean, come on. It all you it the gift of the gift of life, the gift of salvation, the gift of eternity is free. It's free. All you got to do is confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Well, who is Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. He is the Son of God. He is the one that came down to the earth as a 100% man, but also 100% God. That's called the hypostatic union of Christ. He was 100% man and 100% God, you guys. And guess what he did, man? He came down here. He bore. He was, he was born. He, he was a curse for us because we were cursed and he became a curse you guys he died he he went and gave his life you guys he is he went I'm, i just i just i get excited when i talk about this so please bear with me let me get it out i'm almost at the gym too but i gotta let y'all know who jesus is man he came to the earth he took on the sins of man they hung up on the cross. They persecuted them. They whipped them. When they whipped you back in the day, they had this little whip. It had this little leather thing on it with nails and glass and everything. And they would slash it and slide it. So when they hit them, they slashed it and they slid, slid it down his skin. And it ripped his flesh out. That he was bleeding. He was bleeding it was blood just coming out of him he was a bloody mess they wrapped around his crown of thorns and placed it on his head they mocked him they mocked him they spit on him they oh man they did so much stuff to him and he was perfect he never sinned he was without sin you guys he did all of that for you and me he did that for us take it personal i want you to say he did that for me and he they put him on the cross you guys they nailed him to the cross they put nails in his arms they put nails in his feet in his in his feet and he was hanging on the cross you guys and he died for our sins he even went down to hell inside of hell and he snatched the keys from satan he got the keys y'all he got the keys the keys the keys the keys and he came back up and ascended into heaven and now he's seated at the right hand of the father and is seated for me and you he is our advocate he is our high priest he is our way maker he is our promise keeper he is our light in the darkness all this artificial light he is to light oh man get that y'all he is the reason I'm up this morning. I didn't get up by no alarm clock. It is in him that I live and move and have my being. It is in him that I got activity in my limbs that I can go get on that machine and bust it up. Because of him, y'all, ain't nothing that I've done. It's for his glory. It's for his namesake. It's for people to know who he is through us. We are vessels. 
Allow him to fill you with his glory that he may get the glory. Mm. Wow. Look. That's what the young people do. Mind blowing. And all you got to do is just confess. Ah. Confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. He died for your sins. And on the third day, he rose again. And he is seated at the right hand of the Father. And is seated on behalf of his children, the saints of God, the royal priesthood, the holy nation, the chosen. Mm. How about that? Well, let me get off this phone. Time is far spent. I got to get in here, get on the grind, y'all. I got to get on the grind. Today is day 16 you guys november the 4th day 16 you guys i got 10 days till a month that i've been that i've been doing this on november the 14th i started october the 14th so on november the 14th it will be a month i will begin doing my weight training but right now my first month is cardio i'm telling you it's been a blessing to my life it's disciplined me in every aspect and area of my life it's just time for us to get ourselves together you guys i love y'all y'all have a blessed day i will be back up here to tell y'all that i completed my mission on today as far as the working out goes how to take this coat off because i be getting high bro love y'all y'all have a blessed day